Hi folks, Donnie D here. Well, I finally uh, made it out here to my little shooting place today to finally get a chance to shoot my Mosin Nagant, I believe is the way you're, Mosin Nagant, something like that, however you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, that I, anyway, I picked it up, uh, I believe it was three weeks ago, <clears throat> or two, three weeks ago, in Greenville at the S&D and, S and Gun Show. Uh, haven't been able to get out here and shoot it. Um, I've made a couple of large targets uh, of my uh, homemade uh, self-healing shooting seeds uh, that are kind of large because I've heard all kinds of things about the way these guns shoot. Uh, they shoot high usually or to the right, I don't know, just who knows. Uh, so I'm set it up, since I'm such a crappy shot, especially with iron sights, I've set some uh, targets up at 50 yards. And I'm going to shoot it first with, uh, without the... <coughs> Uh, bayonet, and then I'm going to shoot it with the bayonet. I understand that makes a difference, um, just to see how it does. Uh, hope it does good. Looks like it's going to be fun. But anyway, let's take a couple of shots. <coughs> I'm going to tell you what, I like that thing, is fun. But it looks like I'm hitting just a little high, because I'm aiming right at the bottom of the dot. You probably can't see it from here. We'll walk the camera down in a minute and take a look. But it looks like I'm hitting right at the top of the target, just a little bit, inch or two. I got one that looks like it's maybe four or five inches high. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here. I can't see too good. That's why I'm shooting at 50 yards the first time. But anyway, I'll tell you. Uh, as big as that gun is, basically a 30 alt six, it, it doesn't have that much kick at all. But anyway, let's uh, let me put the uh, uh, bayonet on it and, and I'll shoot it, uh, the other target there, and we'll see how that does. Won't take long to get hot.
Yes sir, Bob, that is fun. Before I came out here, I was just getting ready to order some ammo for it, the uh, mill surf ammo. And I said, well, you better go shoot the thing first and see if it'll even function. Uh, I got a feeling it's going to be well worth ordering some ammo. But anyway, let's, let's walk this camera down there and see what we got. There you go. If I knew how to edit videos, I would get all this part out. But uh, just fast forward here till you get to the till we get to the targets. Maybe one day I'll get better at it. I did figure out how to do a couple of things the other day, but not a whole lot. Anyway, let's see what we got. <coughs> I thought I'd missed my first shot, but for some reason it just didn't flash very well. All right. It looks like I hit... This is without the... Uh, um, Bayonet looks like I hit twice right there. It looks like one hole there and one hole right there. One here, one here, one here. That's probably about a four inch spread and I'm sure that this is me, most likely. But that's not too bad. Uh, that's just a little tiny bit high and slightly to the left. Then I put the uh, bayonet on it and uh, I really still think this is me. That was my first shot. I thought I had actually missed, but uh, I, I didn't. But anyway, uh, they're about a little bit further off the down and definitely to the left. I want to try that again and see how it does. But anyway, I think I will uh, shoot a little bit more here. Might even move it out to 75 or 100 yards and see what I can do with that. And uh, I didn't get but 60 rounds of ammo when I bought it uh, a couple of weeks ago. I think I go home and order that double box, that 880 round thing, if I can find it online. But it's definitely worth the. Uh, worth the money I paid for it. I like that thing. Only thing I'm going to do to it, like I said in my first video, is uh, I'm going to take it apart. When I, after I clean it, when I get home, of course, I'm going to clean it as soon as I get, get home. I'm going to strip it down and uh, clean it up really good, and I think I will refinish the stock, but that's going to be about it. But uh, I'm very happy. This is uh, Donnie D, and I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.